breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. We won't vote for Peter Lobby. He represents Biafra movement. Miyeti Allah speaks. We won't vote for Peter Lobby. He represents Biafra movement. Miyeti Allah speaks. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The Miyeti Allah Kautal Hall also known as Mieti Allah has said it has instructed every Fulani in the country not to vote for the presidential standard bearer of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Lobby. According to the group, Obi is a tribal by God and represent the Biafran interest, which would not favor the Fulani nation in Nigeria. The National Secretary General of the Fulani, Socio Cultural Group, Mr. Saleh Al Hazan. In an interview with Sunday Punch, noted that as far as Mieti Allah was concerned, Obi was out of the options of persons to be voted for in the forthcoming elections. As far as we are concerned, we know those we cannot vote for. You see that the call will be all obedient. Any full animal who vote for him must be questioned because he may not be a true son of the soil. Obi represents the Biafran interest. So we know those we cannot vote for and those that cannot be president of Nigeria. He is a tribal by God, he stressed. Halazan also stated that when Obi was the governor of Anambra state, he destroyed the businesses of Northerners and chased plenty Lausa and Fulani people from entering Anambra. Reacting, the spokesperson for Peter Lobi's support network. Mr. Jones, on Uwasuanya said, Obi was a nationalist whose interest was only with Nigerians. According to him, Obi believes in one Nigeria and he is irreversibly committed to the one Nigeria dream and to make a Nigeria a successful nation. The Mietiala Kautal Or, also known as Mietiala, has said it has instructed every Fulani in the country not to vote for the presidential standard bearer for the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Lobi. According to the group, Obi is a tribal by God and represents the Biafran interest which would not favor the Fulani nation in Nigeria. The National Secretary General of the Fulani Social Cultural Group, Mr. Saleh Al Hazan. In an interview with Sunday Punch, noted that as far as Mietiala was concerned, Obi was out of the options of persons to be voted for in the forthcoming elections. As far as we are concerned, we know those we cannot vote for. You see that they call Obi obedient. Any Fulani man who votes for him must be questioned because he may not be a true son of the soil. Obi represents the Biafran interest. So we know those we cannot vote for and those we and those that cannot be rep president of Nigeria. Is a tribal by God, he stressed. 
Halazan also stated that when Obi was the governor of Anambra state, he destroyed the businesses of Northerners and chased plenty of and Fulani people from entering Anambra. Reacting, the spokesperson for Peter Lobby Support Network, Mr. Jones, Nguwa Suanya said Obi was a nationalist whose interest was only to was only with Nigerians. According to him, Obi believes in one Nigeria and he is irreversibly committed to the one Nigeria dream and to make and to make Nigeria a successful nation. The Mieti Allah Kautal or also known as Mieti Allah I said it has instructed every Fulani in the country not to vote for the presidential standard bearer of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Lobby. According to the group, Obi is a tribal by God and represent the Biafran interest which would not favour the Fulani nation in Nigeria. The National Secretary General of the Fulani Socio Cultural Group, Mr. Saleh Al Hazan, in an interview with Sunday Punch, noted that as far as Mieti Allah was concerned, Obi was out of the options of persons to be voted for in the forthcoming elections. As far as we are concerned, we know those we cannot vote for. You see that they call Obi or Obi the end. Any full animal who vote for him must be questioned because he may not be true son of the soil. Obi represent the Biafran interest. So we know those we cannot vote for and those that cannot be president of Nigeria is a tribal by God is trust. Ali Hazan also stated that when Obi was the governor of a number of states, it destroyed the businesses of Northerners and chased plenty of Ousel and Fulani people from entering Anambra. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please do drop by at the comment section and